Hello and welcome to our Angular tutorial series. Today we are going to learn how to change the default port number in Angular. This is particularly useful when the default port which is 4200 is already in use or when you want to run multiple angular applications simultaneously before we begin make sure you have node.js and angular cli installed on your machine if you are not sure how to do this check out our previous tutorials where we have covered the installation process in detail first open your terminal and our command prompt you will need to navigate to the directory where your angular project is located you can do this by using cd command followed by the path of your project so you can open this or if you have the project already open just open the editor and the, open the terminal i am already in the project directory so i will stay here once you are in your project directory you are ready to change the port number to do this we will use the ng serve command with the dash dash port flag followed by the port number you wish to use so let's try it normally the default port is 4200 but i am trying 4300 press enter so in this example we are changing the port to 4300 so you just replace 4300 with whatever port you desire so the project is now running on the 4300 port you can open it and you can see that our project is running on 4200 and angular project is running on 4300 port as well so after you run command angular will compile your project serve it on the new port so for that you can also open your web browser like this and navigate to the local host followed by the new port number whatever you have specified to access your application if you encounter any issues such as port still being in use make sure no other services are running on the same port you can also try another port number until you find one that's free and there you have it you have successfully changed the port number of your angular application this process can help you manage multiple projects or avoid conflicts with other services thanks for watching our tutorial don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more angular tips and tricks if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and we will get back to you happy coding